Now, your pinpoint forecast with meteorologist Cedric Haynes. Well, good Sunday evening. Hope you got a chance to get out there and enjoy this weather. 66 degrees out there currently with clear skies, a south southeasterly breeze at about 8 miles per hour. You can see the warm air. We're not the only ones experiencing this all across the south and east. 77 today in Lake Charles, but look to the west. 84 degrees today in Austin, 83 Brownsville, and 85 in Amarillo. And yes, I do believe some of those 80s will be moving east as we head towards the next couple of days. So yes, if you've been outside, you're probably noticing and getting that spring fever as it's taking over for a lot of people. It's also pollen season and that's been a problem for a lot of people. And of course, we've been watching this here as the predominant pollens out there this past weekend have been the grass and the oak pollen. It's been in the extreme range and we've also noticed that some of the cypress and also some of the cedar pollen as well has been trying to creep in. And so we could probably add that to the list coming up over the next couple of days. And here's your pollen forecast over the next few days. Don't have a lot of good news for you if you suffer from the allergies out there because it's going to be in the extreme range as we start off your work week and going through midweek. We may see a slight break in this and it drops down to the high range. But overall, make sure you take your medications because you're going to need it if you're going to be outside over the next few days. Here's the satellite radar composites. You can see we had some clearing skies this afternoon. A few more low clouds beginning to develop here out to the west into Texas. Some of these may drift in, so I do think we'll see a mix of sun and clouds as we widen the picture out. Our next weather system producing some severe weather across the Midwest today and a other portion of that system. This is the second part. This is the part that's going to be affecting us now beginning to move into the north and west. Over the next couple of days, we've got high pressure to our south and east bringing in that warm and windy weather here. We'll be waiting for this energy to move on and dive down out of the Rockies and eventually we'll tap some of this Gulf of Mexico moisture that's been pumping in over the next couple of days and eventually bring us a chance for showers and storms. Here's your weather map by Tuesday evening. You can see it lined up just to our north and west. Now here's our extended long range computer model showing us what's going on from Tuesday into Wednesday. Showers and storms developing along that front to our north and west Wednesday morning and by Wednesday afternoon and evening. Yeah, we're talking about a chance of showers and storms developing throughout the afternoon and evening and we'll have to watch some of these showers and storms on your Wednesday because we will have a slight risk of seeing some strong to severe weather. The main threats will be wind, hail, and lightning out there. The tornado threat looks low right now, but of course, as always, we'll keep you updated. 62 tonight with a few clouds. It will be mild Monday. Look at that, 80 degrees out there with that cloud and sun mix, and it will be on the breezy side, and it stays warm on your Tuesday as well. But again, heading into your Wednesday, the main time frame from about noontime or lunchtime on Wednesday, heading into Wednesday afternoon and night, we could see some strong to severe thunderstorms, so we'll keep you updated on that throughout the week and then clearing out and cooling off by next weekend. All right, we're going to enjoy the nice weather right That's now. That's right, get out there and enjoy it. 80 degrees over the next couple of days. Can't beat that. It's going to feel good. It is. Well, a lot of action on the base.